Hey guys, it's Caitlin. I should probably should have started vlogging this morning when I, but right before I did my workout, when the day was really nice and good. DJ went from me doing a 30 minute workout on We Fit and and feeling like I was on top even though I was really hurting I felt like I was on top and having a nice phone conversation with Quinn and it turned into problem after problem after problem and I'm not going to go into what those problems are because that's a family problem and I'm not going to Put that put them through that on YouTube because I don't know how far out these videos are gonna see are gonna go and I'm just I'm really upset right now and I'm still gonna vlog because I promised myself I would vlog no matter what happened on the bright side at least tomorrow it's gonna be good I'm gonna be hanging out with Katie my friend who's actually having a baby and i'm gonna be bringing her nursing blanket that i'm working on working on that and then on friday and saturday we're gonna have D and it'll be good today's just not a good day it started out good and it can end good it's just what i make it and i'm gonna have another workout and i'm gonna stay down in here and not worry about everything else that's going on because it doesn't matter because right now I matter and that's something everybody should take into account when something goes wrong in your life remember you matter it's your life your life is what you make it and even if I am upset right now I'm still strong and I'm not giving up even if it's today just feels like crap, even if today's just a bad day, I'm gonna persevere through it. I'm gonna do a workout and I'm gonna think positive and I am going to, I'm gonna get some stuff done and I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. And you guys really shouldn't g ever give up. No matter what situation you get thrown into, you should never give up. Because, yeah, things can get worse. Even if it's out of your control, things can get worse. And I'm thinking right now, I'm just glad things aren't worse. And I'll be okay. And I know I'll be okay. So I'll get over it and I'll be stronger for it and every time something beats you down and you feel like you're gonna get weaker for it on the inside you're really just getting stronger that's at least what I tell myself it's probably bad that I tell myself that but it's how I work through my home issues um my weigh-ins tomorrow before I hang out with Katie and I'm gonna call I didn't end up calling Megan today because I woke up too late and I didn't want to bother her. So I'm just going to wake up early tomorrow and call Megan and talk to her about possibly getting my job at highs. Let's see if I am up for re um, hiring, which would be nice because I really want to start working again. I miss working. Um... And you know what? Today doesn't suck that bad because I'm still living, I'm still breathing, and I haven't went over my calories today. And I'm still a strong, powerful, beautiful woman. Even if I don't believe it myself, I'm still a strong, powerful, beautiful woman. Even if I still have a few pounds to lose, I'm still strong. I'm still beautiful.
and you guys you're strong and beautiful and you may not realize it but you are strong and beautiful each and every person is a strong and beautiful individual it doesn't matter what you think you are because really everything's in the eye of the beholder you're only as beautiful as you think you are to yourself and you need to have some self-love because for the longest time I didn't love myself at all I had no love for myself I thought I was terrible I thought I wasn't I was ugly and I thought I was a bad person and when you feel like that it's hard to it's hard for people to love you it's hard for them to try to love you if you don't love yourself you need to find something in yourself that you love for me it's my creativity and my skills and i'm happy for my, about it i'm happy to be me and just there's something that each of you has that's special and don't let little trials and tribulations get you down because you're strong and you're beautiful and you can do it all right i'm gonna catch up catch back with you guys after i do another workout i'm gonna watch a few youtube videos before i go work out try to calm down a little bit maybe browse on spark um i'll keep you guys posted with what's going on if it wouldn't be too weird for my family i actually well I'll, I'll see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so I decided to run after um, coming home with my mom after we did a little bit of shopping. We didn't walk around too, too much. Um, my average HR during that run was 142 and my calories were burned for 329. Um, it was a zombies run. And I think I did pretty good. My average speed was at least three miles per hour. I did a few sprints because there was a chase. I like the chase sequences in Zombie Run. They're pretty interesting. Um, I did pretty good on food today. I was actually, I th I was actually underneath my goal for minimum calories intake but that was before i started burning i got to 1250 which is actually pretty good for me i'm usually i'm usually right around there so 1250 is decent um i weigh in tomorrow hopefully that'll go well um today has been a really interesting day i've earlier i had a really bad conversation with some of my family members i'm not going to go into that but me and said family members reached a point where we understood about the argument and things got better so that's good things are a little bit better now um tomorrow is going to be amazing because i'm going to be able to see my wonderful wonderful friend katie my wonderful wonderful friend I love her to death. She is like the sweetest. Um, I will be calling Megan tomorrow. I will be waking up at 8 a.m. Hopefully I'll get to sleep soonish. I'm going to type my blog entry, post this video up on YouTube, pretty much, and fall asleep listening to YouTube videos. Then I'm going to pack up my bag for the next day because I'm probably going to end up spending the night there bring my laptop along, vlog my day, and hopefully I'll get to see Carlia, her little daughter. Oh, uh, he's so cute. I love her kid. And we'll also be seeing Sean's kid, I think. Sean's kids. And that'll be a lot of fun. Um, and I will be doing some D&D &D on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, Friday and Saturday, and I'm really excited for that, because it was a lot of fun, um, last time, well, I guess that catches you guys up on my day, um, 
hopefully tomorrow's gonna be good with food and stuff um i have my breakfast for tomorrow i decided to get some um special k meal replacement bars for breakfast i got a strawberry one and the peanut butter chocolate one i'm gonna try them and see if i like them because eating the same thing every day just i don't like doing that it i want to switch it up every now and again i got two of the strawberry and two of the peanut butter chocolate and i'm gonna have one of each tomorrow to see if i like them hopefully i like them because they aren't too expensive they're the protein ones, so hopefully they're yummy. Um, they'll have 10 grams of protein a piece, and they're only 170 calories, which is not bad. So my breakfast for tomorrow will have 340 calories, which isn't bad. That's about 30 calories more than my normal breakfast with um, my cereal and my almond milk. But we'll see how I feel Hopefully I feel a little bit better tomorrow because I'm starting to have a little bit of um, issues with my body with muscle cramps and hopefully I'll feel better in the morning. Hopefully it won't be as bad. I didn't have any DOMS, which I was, well, DOMS in my legs, which I was surprised. I had a little bit of DOMS in my um, stomach, well, my core. So hopefully that work feels a little bit better tomorrow. Um... And I'll work on Katie's baby blanket before I go to bed again. I'll get another row or two done. And uh, hopefully the next three days will be good for my diet. Even though typically D&D &D nights are terrible for my diet. But we're going to do well this time. I promise to myself D&D &D nights are going to be good. Because I'm actually going to make sure that we start eating healthier and I'm not going to be drinking soda. Maybe one can of diet soda once in a very long while, but I will be drinking just water or maybe some cranberry and blueberry juice or whatever is there that's juice that isn't loaded with sugar and stuff because... I'm not worried about the sugar so much as I'm worried about how it's going to make me feel like if it's going to bloat me or something. Because some fruit juices will bloat me and I don't like that. <laughs> but hopefully I'll step on the scale tomorrow and I'll be a little bit closer to my goal. Um, well, today I hope you all are on the top of your games. Hope you're all feeling really good and happy about how you're doing whatever you're doing new. Like if you're starting your weight loss journey like I did a couple of weeks ago. I hope you're following through with that really nicely. Um, if you're doing a new sport or you're doing something else like that. I hope that's going well. Um, and since it is a little late, I'm going to cl cut this vlog here and say... I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, night, whatever it is, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Have a good one.